While crime is surging across the country, especially in Democrat-run cities like Chicago, right here in New York City, and New Orleans. And unfortunately, this weekend was no exception as riots broke out across the country after the video of Tyree Nichols, uh, that horrific beating was released on Friday. Joining us to discuss the ongoing problem, talk show host and columnist Jeff Cruer. Jeff, happy to have you with us here. Uh, it, this is something that it seems like, especially our Democrat-run cities, can't get control of. So what do you think is the number one reason that crime continues to rise in these cities around the country? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a great question. It's so multifaceted. Uh, let me just talk about New Orleans. Uh, we're the murder capital of the nation. Mm. Uh, over, the, over the weekend, three people were killed uh, on Sunday. The mayor's in the midst of a recall. People are trying to throw her out. She's so incompetent. She's uh, derelict in her duty. She travels all over the world, and she doesn't take care of home base, doesn't take care of her home city. Uh, the police, uh, we don't have the numbers here. We, we used to have 1,600 officers. We have 900 police officers now. So what happened in Memphis is tragic. Uh, it's certainly going to make it even harder to recruit police officers. We're in a real crisis here in New Orleans as far as our police numbers go. Other issues, I think we've got to look at what's going on in the educational system, on the home front, uh, the economy. There's so many different factors. And, and I did a recent column where I put it all together, and I said all of these cities have one thing in common. They're run by Democrats, and, and they're disasters. Lori Lightfoot is an abomination, and she's out there dancing yeah. while they're being... 2,278 homicides since she became mayor of Chicago. It's, it's an outrage. Yeah, they also just had a, a candidate, a mayoral candidate there in Chicago, and a lot of them were obviously tackling uh, the, the crime. That was their big issue. But none of them really went far enough and say, hey, we're going to add more funding to the police, or no one even took that stance of defunding the police either. So it, are any of these candidates actually going to do anything differently than what Mayor Lori Lightfoot's doing there in Chicago? Well, uh, unfortunately, if they're Democrats, no. I mean, uh, their answer is more government. Uh, their answer is more controls on police. Uh, they they want these school systems to go woke, so we're, we're not having discipline in the school systems. We're not teaching right values. And, and look at what's going on uh, in these communities. We have homelessness, we have poverty, we have crime. And there she's dancing. She's just yeah. thinking it's yeah. all a big party. Yeah, and, and Chicago is in, in really a, a crisis situation right now. Yeah, and Jeff, uh, you know, you said she's out there partying and, and uh, having a good time despite all of this crime. And just a, about a week or so ago, she also said to people in Chicago, well, listen, if you carry cash, then you're probably going to get robbed. So you know what her solution was? Don't carry cash. Uh, what? It, it's almost <laughs> become laughable at this point, but at the same time, terrifying. You know, and it... Reminds me of uh, Eric Adams, uh, the Very mayor of so. uh, New York City. Uh, right here. The other day, they said, well, you know, it's so bad that these shop owners are having to, you know, hire their own security. And he goes, well, that's a good idea. They should just hire their own security. So they have to pay taxes. They have to pay all their costs. And then they've got to hire security because there are not enough police officers to do the job for uh, shop owners in New York City. And the mayor is encouraging that. So how are these shop owners going to be able to, to make a profit if they have to spend all this extra for security because police can't do the job because they're not enough police officers, they're not allowed to do their job. And this whole cycle is just uh, disastrous. And again, the common thread in all of these cities, you have Democrat leadership. Now, here in New Orleans, the last time we had a Republican mayor, guys, was 1872. Wow. So we've had 150 years. Hmm. of Democrat rule in New Orleans. We don't have any Republicans in any elected position in New Orleans. And, and that's the problem. We don't have different challenging viewpoints. We have one mindset that I, I contend just doesn't work, and mm -hmm. the philosophy has failed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, as you pointed out, I mean, that, that the murder rate there is, uh, is, is really through the roof and very, very dangerous. Sad to see that happen to the big easy. And again, hoping that we'll see some change and uh, things getting better sometime soon. Jeff Cruer, thanks so much for being with us.